If you ever wanted a power hammer, I know I've always wanted a power hammer, but they're expensive, and as you can see, I'm running out of space, and I don't really have room for a huge power hammer. So, the other day, I was helping my son uh, make a class project that he had, and we had to take a piece of flat metal, and we had to form it into a boat. We didn't have to make it out of metal, but of course. I mean, this is the Bex Armory channel. What else would we do? Anyways, so, getting back to uh, the, the, uh, the item at hand, a power hammer. It would have been great. So, I don't have room for a power hammer. So I'm going to take this guy, something that you can pick up very inexpensively. I'm going to turn it into a power hammer. Now, the problem is, all of the uh, attachments I've found are chisels. They cut, they poke holes. I'm going to take this piece of S7 steel, and I'm going to turn it into a hammer. I'm going to put a little ball peen um, on one end, and, you know, I might cut it in half and make two of them. I don't want it to be too heavy or it won't work. Um, it's all about velocity, how hard, how fast you hit it. So, stick around, and um, if you're watching this video, it means it probably was successful, and you're going to see this thing at work at the end of the video. So, let's get started. First thing we got to do is we got to figure out uh, pretty much... I'm going to not cut this, okay? So, we got to put this type of a profile... So first things first, let's get it chucked up in the lathe. And I'm probably going to, let's bring you guys around here so you can see what's going on. Alright, most likely this is going to be a long video, so I'm probably going to start fast forwarding at some point. So first things to do is put this profile on that piece. So I don't need a ton sticking out because I'll flip it over and I'll do the other half. So let's see. Uh, let's do about that. You know, having too much extension just makes things non-rigid. There we go. All right. So, first things first. Let's face that end off. How's my carbide looking? Pretty good. Now, full disclosure, I have never cut S7 steel on this lathe.
so there we have it. Now, for you guys, this probably hasn't taken very long. For me, this has been 46 minutes. Now, I probably should have made it a little taller because this guy right here may get in my way. I should have maybe made it about that tall. But um, good news, I kept the leftovers. I may be able to make another one. Anyways, this has not been hardened yet. So now I have never heat treated S7. From what I've been told, you get it up to uh, like 1800 degrees or 1900 degrees. You pull it out and you let it air cool and it is an air hardening steel and that's all you need to do. And then I'm going to look up how to temper it. If this fails, you'll never see the video. So if you're watching the video, it's been successful. So we're going to take a break here and uh, we're going to heat treat this thing. All right, so we've had some complications. Um, I decided, um, because I'm so brilliant, to just go ahead and try this out in the power uh, in the uh, the air hammer to see how it would fare um, without being heat treated. Well, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's a little mushroomed on the one end there. So I had to completely take the uh, air hammer apart and hammer this thing out because this end mushroomed right there. So, now I know I uh, definitely can't run it without being hardened. So, I'm going to taper this back down so it fits. And you can see all the marred nastiness of trying to get it out. But that's fine. It's a hammer. So, I'm going to clean this up in a belt grinder. Then I'm going to heat treat it. And then we're going to test it out again. <laughs> Alright, so you can see I've got an aluminum block there. The part is nice and hot. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to sit it down in that aluminum block and that should harden it since it's an air hardened steel. For me, it's the next day. So, I have had completed one tempering cycle here on what I'm going to call the little giant. Um, so, as you recall, um, before heat treat, I tried to run this thing and it mushroomed the end and it got stuck and I had to take apart the air hammer. Um, which maybe I put it together wrong. Maybe I did. Anyways. <laughs> I did one heat treating cycle instead of two because I'm in a hurry. So let's see if this thing works. can see this works really really well hopefully the camera's focusing so let's see was it hard doesn't seem to be stuck let's 
Let's double check if it's how it's holding up. So I would say it's definitely hard. There's no deformation right here. And it almost didn't even take the uh, heat treating scale off the front there. So overall, there you have it. The world's smallest power hammer. <laughs> now, if you can buy these, let me know because I'm gonna be real frustrated. Actually, not really. I had a lot of fun making this. If you enjoy projects like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video with other people. That really helps me out. And um, also, if you make sure you click the notification bell so you see the next project I do, because maybe it'll be something that you want to do too. And you want to see somebody else try it and make sure it's possible.